God, maker of man. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for March the 2nd, 2022, taken from the book of Mark. Again, departing from the region of Tyre and Sidon, he came through the midst of the region of the Capolis to the Sea of Galilee. Then they brought to him one who was deaf and had an impediment in his speech, and they begged him to put his hand on him. And he took him aside from the multitude, and put his fingers in his ears, and he spat and touched with and touched his tongue. Then, looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ephata, that is, be opened. Immediately his ears were opened, and the impediment of his tongue was loosed, and he spoke plainly. Then he commanded them that they should tell no one, but the more he commanded them, the more widely they proclaimed it. And they were astonished beyond measure, saying, He has done every all things well. He makes both the, de the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. It is so sad to see nowadays many people, even within the Roman Catholics, theologians and bishops, saying that this didn't happen that way. That it was really impossible that someone who had an impediment to speak would speak, that it was like this, but it was it has some tones and stuff. And it shows nothing less than their lack of comprehension of the power of God. They say that they believe in God, but they do not trust in Him. And they, in the end, do not even trust that He did the whole universe and He keeps on doing ourselves. If God did create the universe out of nothing, why should it be difficult for him to have created man? Furthermore, when we read about Genesis, we read that he created man out of Adama, Adam, which is red clay. How did he do that? With his hands, he took the red clay, mixed it with water, and formed the body of a man. There was no man to be witness of that, for Adam was the first of us. And now we see the Lord Jesus Christ taking him who was deaf out of the crowd to be by himself. And everything that he does reminds us of the clay artist that is redoing one of his pots. He's wetting it a little bit fixing the little deficiencies that there might be, not because he did wrong in the first time, but because it is necessary to fix it. And he does. It is the maker of man. God is the maker. So if we are having trouble with anything, who should we turn to? Shouldn't we turn to our maker? Yes, by all means. And with all trust, believing that he can do whatever he wants. As we walk in this land, it is necessary for us to ask. It is an obliged question. Do we hear him? Or are we also in need to be refashioned by our Creator? Great advantage and profit would we have if we could have the humbleness to ask him, Lord, open my ears, that I may hear you, that I may do your will. Open my mouth, that I may praise your loving kindness. For blessed is our God, always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. 